Hello, good evening. My name is Stuart Cully. I'm a final year student of Architecture, Technology and Management here at Ulster University. And I'd like to take this opportunity to present to you a summary of my final year research paper titled Generative Design, Redefining the Roles Within the Design Process. It can be argued that instead of solving problems, design is an exercise in finding them. Imagine a design solution that fulfills its role so well it seems obvious in hindsight. Then ask yourself, could this process be reversed? Could we somehow codify the design process to iterate and evaluate more efficiently? This forms the basis of the generative evolutionary paradigm. The role of the architectural technologist within the design process has traditionally been to link the ideals of architectural design with the realities of construction, an act that by definition separates the two disciplines. With the advent of generative design, the dynamic shifts from solving design problems to defining the information needed to generate design solutions. This new focus places an increased value on the intuition and experience of the architectural technologist. The advent of BIM as a data-rich digital representation of a building further allowed for the evaluation of many design solutions in a condensed period of time, leading to the increased implementation of generative design within industry. The Living and Autodesk Design Studio utilised a generative design approach to explore a wide variety of design solutions for the Mars Discovery District in Toronto. That same process was applied to the Autodesk University Exhibit Hall layout. Similarly, Dutch construction company Van Wijnen also applied these learnings to urban planning, changing the dynamic of how they design and build sustainable and affordable housing. Other tools such as Finch, a parametric design tool that can generate floor plans adapted to the constraints of a site can help to leverage designs and minimize tedious repetitive tasks. Memo.ai uses a space partitioning data structure to form a generative algorithm which creates adaptive floor plans. With many more design firms integrating generative design into their design process, I attempted to apply these generative design techniques to the constraints outlined in the design brief of an eco hotel in Dublin. TestFit is a program that uses numerous parameters and algorithms to generate spatial layouts of buildings in a virtual environment. By importing location data such as satellite imagery, GPS and road mapping to graphically define the site boundaries, I was able to use TestFit to begin iterating and designing solutions based on the elements of the building and their relationship to one another. These preset design solutions could be further optimised by adjusting the dimensional constraints of each unit in line with the design brief. From these refined parameters, TestFit filtered the proposed schemes and each could be dynamically cycled in three dimensions within the virtual environment, allowing each scheme to be viewed and evaluated against one another in order to determine the most optimal design solution. With the aid of visual scripting tools, a simple algorithm was coded within Dynamo, allowing these design solutions to be imported into Revit, generating wireframe data for building elements such as walls, floors and ceilings that could be used to generate a parametric 3D model. To refine the internal layout, Memo.ai, a parametric floor plan application was used. By defining the internal spaces and their relationships to one another, room layouts could be generated and iterated upon. Further defining entry and exit points, the locations of doors and windows could be automatically placed. Using basic graphical user interface elements like checkboxes and slider bars, input data for the area and proportion could be adjusted in real time and assigned a score weighted against the desired input parameters. This data could then be used to inform the room layout within the 3D model. In conclusion, using a combination of these generative design tools, a proposed building plan was created within Revit. The basic site plan was formed from the geometric data generated by TestFit and the floor plans for each room were informed by the data generated by Memo.ai. By defining parametric values, each generative design tool could analyse and iterate to arrive at the optimal design solution. It's evident that these generative design tools have the potential to not just optimise buildings in a meaningful way, but to automate the minutia of the design process, improving workflow with the potential to make the design process more affordable, ecological and efficient. These generative design methods will require new skills and a shift in the dynamic of how the design process is approached. With a comprehensive knowledge of the use and performance of building elements and the relationships between them, 
architectural technologists already possess an understanding of the fundamental concepts of generative design. Perhaps then, with generative design as their tool, the architectural technologists of the future will have more in common with the master builders of old than with the architects of today. Thank you.